Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyphenovision.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how we can handle auto suggestion or auto complete in Playwright. Now, when I say auto complete or auto suggestion, let's take the best example Google. Now, the same example you find in all the websites that you use. So, for example, if I type Selenium by or let's say Selenium web driver you can see we have multiple auto suggestions or you can say auto complete the moment you start automating any application you will come across this that you need to click on certain elements or maybe you need to verify these items sometimes the verification could be checked there in the ascending order descending order or make sure all this auto suggestion have this keyword or not right now it depends on the requirement you can put the checks but eventually you need to capture all these elements now how to handle these kind of elements we'll see now in this video for example same thing if i go on amazon if i search for iphone now these are the options are coming i need to click maybe iphone 16 or maybe i need to verify all the suggestions that we have includes iphone or not right and same goes for different websites so concept will remain same and this is exactly what we are going to discuss for example if i talk about my keyword I'm getting multiple keywords. Maybe I want to click on Playwright since we're discussing Playwright. How to do this? Let's see in this video one by one. Very easy, but I thought I will quickly record a video because this can be a very important tip for all of you. So in order to do this, what I will do first, I'm going to create a new Java class and I will say handle auto suggestions. So don't get confused with the names, guys. Uh, it could be auto suggestions, auto complete, uh, a drop down which does not have select tag, or it could be edge control. So don't worry about the different terminologies. Understand the basic principle behind this. Now, in order to start, I will use Playwright. Now I will be using Chromium, but you can use Firefox, WebKit, any other browser. So I will say Playwright dot create, and now I need let's say Chromium, and I will say launch. I will also provide launch options because I want to run in headed mode. So I will say okay, launch options. First, I need to say browser type, new browser type dot launch options. And I will say set headless to false. I don't want in headless mode. So we are setting it false. Now this will return me browser instance. So browser. Now, if you're not sure how to start browser, then I would highly recommend you to watch my previous videos. We have discussed in detail multiple times. So I will start a new page, which will return me a page instance. So I will say page. Now, in order to continue, what I will do, I will just go ahead and write one quick XPath. For example, again, if I just go ahead and type Mukesh Otwani, I want to capture all these. So I will first inspect and I'm going to write one X path which will match with all these elements. So now if you notice it is coming under Li. So if I put mouse over on Li, 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 all these options are coming, right? And all these options are coming under UL. So if I go to UL, this complete list is getting highlighted. So UL means unordered list, OL means ordered list. So this all is coming under UL. So I will first type find UL which have a role equal to list box. So double slash UL role equal to list box. Now I will search for Li. If I just search for Li, you can see I got all these matching nodes, right? So I'm going to copy this X path. First I will navigate to the google.com. Then I will say page dot locator since we are using xpath i will be using this xpath equal to and the xpath that we have written and notice what it is returning it is returning me a locator reference right so i will store this in a locator and make sure you take locator from playwright because as you can see we have locator in org.xml, org.xml.sax.ext, we are taking from Playwright. So I will say locator and navigate. I will do this. 
now one thing that you have to notice that in order to get this information first you need to type right so i will go ahead and first of all i'm going to inspect this is actually a text area and if you see we have a name equal to q we also have title equal to search i can use area label equal to search so it's up to you i will go with title equal to search so i will say find a text area where uh, title equal to search yeah now i will go ahead type page dot locator since we are writing xpath xpath equal to this then i will be using fill and i want to fill with this value which is mukesh utwani and followed by space now in order to capture the text what i will do i will capture how many elements i have so basically this xpath is returning me 10 matching nodes right so first of all let me print so if i say locator dot you can see we have a method called count so what count will do it will tell me how many elements we have in our case it should be 10 right so before we write for loop let me show you that the moment you write this we got 10 web elements okay you can imagine this as a list now what i will do i will say run a for loop and i'm going to start from zero and i need to go till the length like how many elements i have so i will say i less than equal to locator dot count so if i have 10 it will start from 0 to 9 if i have 20 0 to 19 and every time i will increment this i value so if i have 0 it this will not even execute now within this loop i will use this locator reference and i will use one method called nth so return locator to the nth matching element it's zero based and zero means the first element so i will say fine use this i and one by one i want to capture the text content which will return me obviously a string so i will say this is the text that we are capturing and let me print so i will say text here so how exactly it will work the loop will start from zero zero is less than ten so it will go nth zero means first element capture the text store into a string and print i plus plus i value is one one less than ten again so i value will be one here give me the second element text again it will increment by one so it will be two now two less than ten yes give me the third element text context and so on obviously we'll write the condition but as of now i just want to print all the values this is just to double check yes whether we are able to capture all the values or not and once we are done i will say page dot close and then i will use browser dot close now let's execute this and see what text we are getting from this for loop okay now let's execute this code and let's see the output so i will execute as java application now notice something it is giving me count as zero what it means it is typing it is moving here it is not able to find element it is giving me count as zero and then it is not running the loop why because we are giving the condition it should be less than zero so i equal to zero count is zero so zero is less than zero no it's not running for loop it's closing my page closing my browser but practically we are filling it should give me auto suggestion right what happens here the moment you execute with playwright it's happening too fast that it's typing and immediately moving to the next statement and it is not able to capture so what we will do here we will set the slow motion i'm not asking you to set the slow motion to one second two second but keep at least some slow motion so that it should perform how a normal user will type so i will set maybe 100 millisecond or 100 millisecond will be too less let's keep 200 millisecond it means while typing it will set the delay 200 millisecond for each action now if you execute this it is starting and it's typing and we got 10 matching nodes 
notice one point that it is capturing this text right selenium dot python github youtube playwright linkedin api testing and so on along with that it is also capturing other attributes so if you don't want all the details see we can write the condition here that will work but let's say if you just need the pure text you can simply type that i just need the inner text so that you will only get the inner text then we can write the condition this time if you execute it executed it typed and we got 10 matching nodes and it's printing everything right now well, let's say i want to click on playwright mukesh otwani playwright or i can give partial condition called playwright so i can write the condition here and condition which i will write is this i will type if text that we are capturing if that contains playwright then i want to click but where i will click on this particular element right so dot click and the moment i click i want to break because if i don't put break this loop will continue and it will try to find the other elements and will get the exception right so i'm keeping it break and just to show you that it's clicking i'm going to comment this page dot close and browser dot close execute this time okay it clicked on play rate and you can see now we are getting all the searches which is related to play rate so this is how you can put condition now i will uncomment this because i don't want to close the browsers manually every time so this is your first approach where you are able to find all the elements you are capturing the text then you can put your condition that for which particular condition you want to click but if you are very sure that you want to click on third element fourth element fifth element right then you can go with directly located dot nth and use the click this i generally don't recommend until you are not sure about the sequence and the indexing what i mean if i go back here right now playwright is coming 0 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so if i give uh, 6 sorry 5 which is sixth element it will click but what if i type something else maybe i will just type mukesh otwani or just type mukesh ot obviously the indexing will change right right now it's again coming at the sixth place but what if the, some other keywords are ranking in that case it will fail but still if you are sure that you want to click on a specific element you can go with direct nth method so for this let's go ahead and let me create one more handle auto suggestion using index instead of writing these conditions you just say page dot locator now this is going to match with all the 10 elements right i will simply say nth give index as 5 which is sixth element index start from 0 and then i will click comment this for this example and execute this once again so depends on the requirement please go with the respect to option it clicked on play right but if the indexing will change obviously it will click on the next element so again you can put many conditions because the main part is capturing list running a condition and capturing the text now you can modify this as per your requirement and let me know if you face an issue you can try with the same example on google amazon flipkart you will find the same thing so that's all about today uh, i hope this will be helpful if you like this video please share with your friends colleagues and if you have any question let me know in the chat section and if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care